It's Max and Ross, the redhead and the squirrel. They'd like to welcome you into their world. Welcome back to Incredibly Depressing News. I'm your host, Mon Moma, here with the latest in sadness. Tonight's top story... The officer behind the murder of Harold Flubberton has been put on paid leave for like two days. Todd, the boyfriend of Harold's wife, says that this is complete and utter bull. Dude, I was listening to that. Yeah, but I don't want to hear any more. We're already on our way to the funeral. I know, but like, the, the cop, he's, he's, he's off the force. That's a good thing. No, no, he's not. Okay, yeah, he got paid leave, but I, that's, you know what, he, he's, he's, not, he's not working at the moment. That's true. You can't kill anybody else. I think that would have made Harold happy. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just all flubbed up. Sorry for my language, but like... I don't want to see Todd there, but Todd's running the gig. Uh, dude, it was... It, honestly, he was the first one in uh, his will, so like, I don't know what to tell you. I know, but I'm just... I'm angry because if Todd never changed the Disney Plus password, then, then there wouldn't have been the whole argument, and, and Harold wouldn't have been here, and... It, it's just a whole line of what ifs. I, I know thinking what if isn't worth it, but it's just calm down, calm down, frustrating. Bud. Calm down. Harold it's... was there when I fell in that poison ivy bush. He licked it all off me at camp. I didn't even have poison ivy after that. He saved my life. I'm. I know you're going through a lot right now, and I'm genuinely sorry. But you're being very brave going to this thing. Harold would have wanted you there. I'll be there for moral support. Thank you. I know. I, I I hope I'm allowed. It's weird it said plus one. Yeah, it, it, it's not a wedding. I don't know why they did a plus one. That's kind of weird. I don't know. It is. But look, we got some good news. There's 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 a light at the end of this tunnel. We got the majority of our stuff back. Minus the, the, the couch. I don't, I don't really know. We moved know. it all in once, and now we got to do it again. Although, I don't remember how we got that in here. I, I don't remember how we got it in either. I'm a little annoyed, and it's raining now which is it's so we'll we'll figure that out later i'll like i'll ring it out we'll i'll dry it we'll be good but we're fine man we'll, we'll make it work we'll make it work rain might get the fart smell out though that's that that's another plus and look look something else you know you see how it's raining yeah watch this oh yeah the pool's filling back up it's not our water, though. I, I wanted Bush. I wanted to punch Butch, like, bam! And then, like, he would have spit all the water back into the pool. You, do you think he drank it? I mean, how else did he move? How did, how did he remove the water? No, that I still don't understand how he did that. But you know what? What matters is we got 99% of our stuff back. I still don't know where the remote is. That has been gone. Yeah, having to turn on the TV manually, we just feel like cavemen. Does. Oh, speaking of cavemen. What's up? Where are you at? Would you like? I'm in the oh. kitchen. You just oh. you looked at me. I would didn't you even like see some you. Harold juice in his honor. Harold juice it was a recipe I found on him, and I just I threw everything in a bowl. And then I did like the grape stomping technique, and this was the juice that came out. For for Harold. For Harold. For Harold. Finish it. For oh. Harold, finish it. <laughs> finish it. Harold would be upset. <laughs> Ross, do this for me then. I, I physically can't finish it. Keep, come on. Sip, sip up. Sip up. <laughs> One more. Just, you're almost there. It's almost empty. Come on. Ross, please don't. Don't make me do this. A little this. more. Just, uh, it's Harold. It's Ross, Harold's I have juice. a horrible. I don't know what this even tastes like. I have a horrible gag reflex. All right, a little more, just a little more. I'll sing a song. Chandelier! Did that no, help? no, no, no. I, I drank, I drank the majority of it. I'm, 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 uh, uh, uh. More for me. What, what even was that? It was Harold Juice. He used what? to make it at camp. What the fuck is in Harold Juice? I don't know. I don't know what the words say. I just put them in the bowl and I. Dom. Oh, I feel lightheaded. Oh, daddy. Dom. 
Stop. You feel okay? I, oh, I gotta, I gotta sit. Oh my god. I feel Ugh. woozy, but it's his. Ju I'm fighting through it. I'm not being a little bitch like you. This is Harold's oh juice in his honor. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying to fight you today. I know you're going through a lot, man. Okay. He would, he would have just, he probably would have downed like the rest of the bowl if he was here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you know what? He would have. He, he was a strong dude. Hey. He was the strongest dude. Hey, hey, you're the strongest dude. Thank you. You got this, man. All right, we should get going soon. So make sure to grab all your stuff. You have your little... Wait, are you wearing Crocs? Yeah. It's raining. I'm not going to get nice shoes wet. Yeah, but wouldn't you get the... Wouldn't you get the your, your feet wet? No. No? There's little holes in them, dude. I know, but my socks keep my feet. Yeah, I know, you're wet. wearing socks with Crocs. That's... You know what? Uh, I'm not going to judge. If that's what you would wear to hear our Harold's funeral, by all means. Oh, good. Uh oh What the hell? We're busy. We got a funeral to go to. You two! I got some serious news. You need to come with me right now. No questions asked. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. Dude, where are we? I don't know. It got very bumpy in here. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. This is really eerie. I mean, you think they'll let us out? Maybe it's a surprise for the funeral. Like we're gonna, they're gonna open it up and we're gonna be in front of the casket and we go surprise. Dude, that was the same cop that that, that killed Harold, man. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. He was just wearing a different uniform. No, that means it's a different person. That's not what that means, Ross. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried. He would have been wearing the oh. same. Oh, the door. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hello. Um, uh, hi there. Hi. I think they, they want something from us. Oh, oh, there's three chairs. Okay. It doesn't. Uh, uh that's big door. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't, um. Water cooler! Ross, don't touch the water. We don't know where we are. They got two flavors. Look, they got strawberry and blueberry. That's not. What are you two doing? I was looking at the water. Sit down, sit down. You want some water? I could pour you a cup later, but I need to speak to you two very seriously right now. Okay. What, what's up? Well, we have some news about the funeral, guys. I know you two are about to attend Harold's funeral, but we're not worried yeah. about Harold anymore. We're more focused on Harold's wife's boyfriend, Todd. Todd? What, what about Todd? You guys know a bit about Todd, right? You like him, you don't like him, let me know. What do you I, guys think I don't Todd? know anything about Todd. I blame him for the death. Todd's at fault. Yeah. Todd is at fault. Sage! I'm, pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's his fault. No, no, it's not my fault. It's Todd's fault. Todd is the problem. If you did not know, Todd is the head of a mob, actually. A family of crime in town. W what? Yeah. Oh. What? Did you know that? No! That means Harold was involved! Was he? Oh. oh god, that would make a little sense. His Christmas presents were always very lucrative. Like, I, I didn't know how, how he had the money for that. What? That doesn't make any sense. Sorry to have breaking it to you this way, guys, but, you know, sounds like Harold was involved. I do have some notes on him, but it's more about Todd, actually. We have plans, and I need your help to take out Todd during the funeral. I'm in. I'm, I'm not... I'm... No, I'm not. I'm not killing anybody. What are you talking about? But it's I mean, Todd. I'm, I'm not gonna kill anybody. Don't don't worry. I'm not you, Ross. I have a heart. And this is this is our government asking us to step up. None of this is adding up. I don't I don't understand. Why do you need our help specifically? Well, because you two are going to the funeral, and I knew that, and I I'll take care of it. You don't need to kill anyone. You just need to, you oh. know. Set it up for me. I'll take care of Todd. But I need you two to genuinely go in there, you know, act all sad, be sad about Todd or Harold, and just set Todd up to get shot. I'm gonna snipe him from the tree. That this is this is fucked up on so many levels. I'm not I'm not doing this, Ross. I can drink to that plan. Ross, stop <laughs> stop drinking that. We can do this for Harold. Ross, Harold wouldn't want his wife's boyfriend dead. I think he would have. Her Harold was a good guy. He specifically requested him to read the eulogy. Why would he want him dead? 
What's what? What's the files? H Harold was good, right? Harold, uh, he seems like he was a delivery guy. He would deliver a few things for the family mob, and uh, it doesn't look like he got any blood on his hands. Not like See? it matters anymore, but yeah, but it's not Harold. It's still Harold's family. Why would you want to take out another member of Harold's family? This is my revenge. Not only when Todd changed the Disney Plus password, did it affect Harold and cause this crazy domino effect, I also can't log in anymore. I'm pissed. Doesn't seem like you uh, want to do this. But what if I enticed you, you know, spiced up the offer for you? What? What could you possibly offer me? I'm not taking another human's life. Does Ronnie Baloney sound familiar? No. I you think sure? he's talking about Randy McCookface. Wait, the... The, the guy that, who worked at Tummy Time? Yeah. Ronnie Baloney. What's his name? What a sad name. Well, yeah, it was... I thought it was Randy. Ronnie, Randy... Yeah, that's the same. It's close enough. Listen, I'll let you guys off the hook for the murder of Ronnie Baloney if you help me out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Yeah, I have your names written right down here, too. I didn't do anything. What the f*** are you talking about? You were kind of my accomplice. What? I got... What? Ronnie had it coming, though. I do want to say, like, he, he threatened us first. It was self-defense. I want that on. Can you write that down, self-defense? Oh, self-defense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me write it down real quick. Uh, Yeah, sure. So are you going to help me to get cleared off? Or you want these murder charges? I don't want to be charged. So you want me to kill a person or be charged for murder? How does this make sense? You're either, what? you're not kill a person. You're going to help me kill a person to clear your murder charges. It makes perfect sense, honestly, with the law. It does. I I can't believe you're in on this. I can't, I, I can't believe you want to do this. It's Todd! Fine. What do, what, do, what do we have to do? Okay. So, this is how it's going to go down. I am going to kill Todd when the eulogy begins, okay? You're going to go up to him and distract him a little bit, right? I don't know how you're going to distract him. You could sneeze on him. You could fart on him. You could talk to him. Do whatever you need to do to distract him, but keep him in place. That's when I'm going to shoot him through the tree 100 meters away with my sniper. And I hope I don't miss and hit one of you guys in the shoulder, but that's fine. I'll hit him. I I don't want to be shot. Yeah, I don't want to be shot either. Well, listen, it's either you risk the chance of getting shot or, you know, get murder charges. And, you know, to even spice it up for you, little guy, I'll give you an iPad, too. Wait, two? You made a second one? Oh, Wait, I, that's I, cooler than an no, original one. No, I think he meant I'll give you an iPad, too, not I'll give you an iPad, too. Two. They made a second one. I don't know. I, I, that's that not means what I the meant. first one was great because when the first one's good, they make a two. It's like Avatar two. Shut, shut up about freaking Avatar two. Avatar was bad. I'm still gonna work with you, but 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 you made me reconsider. Okay, perfect. You guys ready then? Yeah. Can, can I can I get can I have a second to talk to Ross? Like, oh, stop drinking that. <laughs> Would you like me to leave the room? I would, yes, please. No problem. Thank you. Are you sure about this? No, that glass is probably two-way. They can probably still hear us. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. They can probably still hear us, but... I, I, know, I know this wouldn't be the first I... person you've killed, but... Bro, stop. Stop it. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling too good about this. Oh, why not? Because I don't want to kill somebody! I don't want to be the reason someone is dead, again! Not that it happened to me before! Let's, uh, let's do those circle things you like. So, on one circle, you have kill bad. But on the other circle, think about this, you're not the one killing him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's kind of a- he's kind of a dick. Uh-huh. Um... No, but I have a question for you. Who determines what's bad and what's good? Uh... He, he just said he was part of a crime family. He didn't even say what they did. Or what they smuggled. Yeah, but, that's, but that's our government. And I'm I'm willing to fight for our government. Even if it means hurting the family of one of your old beloved friends. Yeah. 
So if the government wanted me dead, you would kill me? Well, what did you do to piss off the government? I don't know. I didn't pay taxes. Oh. I'd probably go at you with a letter opener, but nothing more than that. Like, and I, I feel like you could defend. What? I'm not going to use, like, a knife or a weapon. A letter opener, dude. I'm going to hide in the letter, and then when they mail me to you, I'm assuming that's the plan. Like, they'll mail you a tax document. I pop out with the letter opener, and then you defeat me. And then you realize the error of your ways. You go pay your taxes, and then we hang out again. I... This juice is good. Ross, please stop for the love of God. Drink. Don't, 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 don't stop drinking that. Please. <laughs> I still feel weird because of it. Harold juice is like, it's making me more like, Ugh. I feel powerful. And that's why I think we could, like, I don't even think we need the government. Like we could have taken it out, Todd, but, but they're going to take the fall for us. Think about it. Again, no blood on our hands. And uh, Randy McBaloney butt I I is also off our plate. This is home free. This is, this is everything lining up. I want to know how they knew about him, his death. Yeah, that's... I don't think anyone knew about that. Do you think they went to the place? It should have been fingerprints. Well, I don't I know. did put my tail in the fryer. That's weird. I don't even know when you had time to do that. All right. <sighs> Would Harold have wanted this? I think so. I mean, he was so distraught about Todd when he came over. There might have been more to the story that even I didn't know. All right. Frank it, I'm in. Let's kill Todd. Yay! We're gonna kill a man! I don't really, I don't know about this, man. What do you mean? I, I just, I, I, I think we should, like, think about this for a second. We're at a funeral. Harold's family's here. Todd's here. Like, this, this is, this is fucked up on so many levels. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing this. Well, we were gonna be here anyway. We're just, I guess we know what events are gonna occur, and we're gonna help, help them occur, if that makes sense. I know, we're part of the problem. But violence doesn't solve violence. But this was gonna happen anyway. We're just helping make sure it happens. And I mean, look at that big guy over there. Freaking Todd thinking he runs the place. That's Todd. Hi, Todd. That's Todd. Yeah, the big one's Todd. Dude, I don't think one bullet's gonna get him. I don't know. They probably got like an elephant gun or something. Oh my God, dude. I. Please, I'm like, I'm, fre I'm freaking out, dude. Like, I'm, I'm actually freaking well, out. I don't, I don't, I, I think we should leave. I don't think we should do this. What's going to go wrong? Well, first of all, we could probably get shot ourselves. I don't like that. No, we won't. I trust the aim. You trust the aim of the officer that killed Harold. Which, by the way, you're working for Harold's murderer right now. I think you're thinking of the police officer. This is an FBI agent. That's the, it's, it's the same person. It was, it's it was, you're wearing different shirts. I just, I, we were gonna show up anyway. We're gonna have a good time. We we're gonna remember Harold. And this is my way of remembering Harold. It's, it's what he would have wanted. Can I, can I actually have some of that? I, 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 I don't know what it is, but it just, it just makes me feel funny. And right now I'm just. That's, that's what I need to feel right now. Oh. Oh, Frank. No, it wasn't worth it. Ugh. Daryl just had a bag of stuff. It was all the ingredients. Oh, God. I don't know how you're drinking that. I feel lightheaded, dude. Ugh. I'm doing it for Harold. Oh, I don't like this at all. Can we go say hi? Yeah, let's go pay our respects. Make the round. Seems like they're having an okay time so far. A little bit, yeah. This is really awkward. Oh, 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 oh. hi, hi, hey. hi, how you doing? Hello. How's it going? This is Ross. I'm, uh, I'm Max. I'm his, I'm his plus one. Good to see you. The plus one was, we oh, oh, all right. Okay, so they were done talking. All right, I guess they were. Can you understand them? No, not at all. What? What do you mean you can't understand them? I, what do you mean? I, can you understand How did you talk that? to Harold? Harold knows sign language. We went to sign language camp. 
sign language camp? Yeah. If you talk, they'd make you step on hot coals. So you had to use sign language only. It was it was like physical reinforcement. Ross, I don't I don't think that's a camp. What do you mean? We slept in tents. I, I think we should talk about this later. Let's let's go say hi to Todd. It's a painful memory. I guess alright, let's go see Todd. Oh, 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 everyone's everyone's around Todd right now. Oh, oh I guess they're Hey Hey Todd. Oh, oh, Harold's wife has been doing okay. Uh oh, she's taking it hard. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Uh, hope other things have been going well. Uh, is, is I know this is probably not the place to ask, but the, the subscription on Disney. Did you, did you change the password? Oh, oh yeah. Har Harold had mentioned that like a few days ago. I just, I, I I'm trying to just. Figure some uh, stuff out. After this, would you would you be okay if he had the password again? I, I wasn't I wasn't gonna outright ask you. I know we're at the funeral, but I'll ask you. No, oh. no, okay. I'm sorry. Is it cool if I say goodbye to, to Harold? Yeah, thanks, dude. What do you think, man? I'll be right here. Harold, you were you were the straw in the berry. You were the. You were the clown in the fish. You were the cum in the piss. <laughs> and I, I'm never gonna forget you, man. You, you, you were so many words that, that were two words made of two other words, and you were one of those words that you put together. And, and honestly, you might have had those meaty Vienna sausage fingers, but, damn, if you couldn't do sign language like a pro. I understood you, and and crazy enough, you're one of the few people that understood me. And well, it's sad to have one more good one removed from the world. To you, Harold, I'll miss you, bud. <laughs> okay, bud. You're gonna put him in this hole. Hey, it's okay, man. It's okay. Put him in a hole. Hey, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. All right. Harold would have been happy you're here. That's what's important. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we should do the thing. Harold wouldn't have wanted it. Wait, what? Well, well, uh, uh, sorry, thank, thank you, Todd. Uh, uh, Harold wouldn't have wanted it. Wait, 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 what the what are you talking about? Harold wouldn't have wanted it. You want to back out now? He wouldn't have wanted a funeral. He would have wanted to fall into a cliff doing a motorcycle stunt. Ross, none of this should have been happening. Ross, I think the, I think the eulogy's starting. I gotta, I gotta no. say, Todd. No.